Wait a minute. This has a black strip. Hi, I'm Martin and you're watching Living Well TV. So you may have heard or read somewhere that the coloured markings on the bottom of toothpaste tubes tell you what's inside it, whether it be toxic chemicals or natural or medicine. Is this true? Let's carry on watching to find out. So you may have heard that these marks on the bottom of a toothpaste tube tell you what's inside the toothpaste um, and the colours denote what it is. So basically they say that uh, some of these masks could tell you it's toxic chemical, some could tell you it contains a medicine and some could tell you it's a natural toothpaste. Unfortunately it's a complete myth this isn't true. All these marks are on the toothpaste, uh, they're called eye marks or light marks and they just tell the machinery where to cut. The light beam senses the marks on the machine, it cuts it, seals it, folds it, and that's all they're for. It doesn't tell you anything else. However, some toothpaste can contain toxic ingredients, and it's always best to look at the labels. Some popular toothpaste have a chemical called triclosan, and it's used to help prevent uh, gingivitis, which is gum disease, and also prevent plaque buildup. Although this chemical has been shown to help with gingivitis, it comes at a cost. It can cause something to do with antibiotic resistance and also affect the endocrine system. Endocrine disrupting chemicals are a serious health concern and cause a lot of uh, issues. Things like uh, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer and testicular cancer. They've also shown to cause low birth weights in babies and can cause undescended testicles in boys at puberty. Some animal studies showed that it caused fetal malformations in the bones in rats and mice. Other research has shown that people who use these types of toothpaste have five times the amount of triclosan in their urine than people who don't use these toothpastes. Many toothpaste contain surfactants, things like sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium lauryl sulfate. These are responsible for the forming action of the toothpaste but they can affect your taste buds. They may give you a bitter aftertaste, which may explain why when you clean your teeth, food tastes absolutely disgusting after you've eaten it. These chemicals have also been linked to skin irritation and canker sores, and dentists recommend that if you suffer from these sores, to use a different toothpaste without these chemicals in them. One of the main issues with this chemical is that during the manufacturing process, it can become contaminated with carcinogenic byproducts. These byproducts can be released into the environment and have a massive impact on marine life. The manufacturers actually try to market this as a pesticide for organic farming. This application was swiftly denied due to its potential for environmental damage. Fluoride has long been heralded as the answer to decaying teeth, but it's been receiving increasing scrutiny in recent years. Studies have shown that the protective layer form on your teeth from fluoride is just six nanometers thick. To understand just how thin this is, you'd need 10,000 of these layers to get the width of a strand of your hair. This questions whether this ultra thin layer can actually protect your enamel and provide any discernible benefit, considering the fact that it's quickly eliminated by the simple act of chewing. In fact, toothpaste that contain natural occurring cacao extract better repair the teeth than fluoride toothpaste. Not to mention fluoride toothpaste is often the largest single source of fluoride intake for young children and is a major risk factor for disfiguring dental fluorosis. This is because children swallow a large amount of paste that they put in their mouth. In fact, research has shown that it is not uncommon for young children to swallow more fluoride from toothpaste alone than is recommended as an entire day's ingestion from all sources. Swallowing fluoride is especially detrimental to our health. Fluoride is a toxic chemical that accumulates in our tissues over time, 
wreaks havoc with enzymes and produces a number of serious adverse health effects, including neurological and endocrine dysfunction. Children are particularly at risk for adverse effects of overexposure. If you have a young child, it's recommended that you use, that you use a non-fluoride toothpaste, although I recommend the same for adults as well. A few other ingredients to look out for is propylene glycol, which is a type of mineral oil that in, that in the industrial industry is used for antifreeze paints, enamels and airplane deicers. This is clearly not a substance you want to be brushing your teeth with. There's also a chemical called diethanolamine, or DEA, which has been linked with cancers of the stomach, esophagus, liver and bladder. And lastly, microbeads. Microbeads are tiny plastic pellets found in body washes, facial scrubs and some toothpastes. As well as being harmful to the environment, these beads can become trapped under our gums, which can lead to gum disease. Well, I hope that's helped clear up any confusion about toothpaste and toxicities of some of the chemicals in them. And I would always try and choose the most natural toothpaste possible. Please like the video if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.